Welcome to Commander Wing Chun. Today we're going to start a Wing Chun dummy training series. This is a Wing Chun wooden dummy and we, there's 116 moves in Yip Man's wooden dummy form and we're going to go through every single one in this series. So stay tuned, let's get started. If you have a dummy at home or if you don't have a dummy you can start making marks on the floor so help you to measure out how you want to be stepping so what you want to do is you start with the um, uh, the leg and then start there and then go horizontally across and the distance will be if you measure your knee measure your knee and then put your toe down that's about the distance okay so that's why it's not good to say, oh, it's gonna be one foot or it's gonna be one foot and a half. You need to do something that's going to uh, work with your own body. Okay, so this will be about the same. And they have different lengths for this. So if you have something about the same length, that length, then you wanna be that far away from the uh, dummy. Okay, but you can adjust it and see what is more comfortable. Okay, so we have one line going to the corner here. And there's a line just so that we know that this line is directly uh, perpendicular to, to the dummy here. These are, uh, and then another line over here, perpendicular to here. And then these two are where you generally want to place, place your feet. So they're generally halfway between those two points. Okay, so that's how you set it up. Uh, there's more lines, but we're gonna keep it simple today. And uh, this is how we're gonna start training with the Wing Chun dummy. Let's start with the starting position stance. So we're in our A stance, I call it the A stance, or you can call it the easy Kim Yong Ma if you want to have a tongue twister. So your feet are pointing inwards, your toes are pointing inwards, and your toes are about the same distance, I mean exactly where those points are halfway between. Okay, knees slightly bent and uh, hands out like this. So this is called a bite on position. Hands are in the center line, so if you look in the front, it's gonna be like this. So that's a starting position. So you're gonna start with the left hand out in front. Most Kung Fu, actually pretty much every Kung Fu starts with the left hand in front if you are uh, beating with the left. Usually you start any move with the left in front. So from here, the first move is raising the, the hand straight as a, as a reaching out. So I'm just reaching out straight and it happens to make contact with the dummy arm. That's all I'm doing. Okay, that's it. So from here, I'm just raising, basically just raising it up. Like that. And I'll show you the use for this in a second, but first let's learn the technique. So raise it up, move number one. Move number two is we're gonna keep extending it and grab the back of the dummy or the side of the dummy. At the same time, your elbows keeps contact with the uh, dummy arm. The other hand is going to grab here, make sure your elbow is low. So we raise up, move number one, move number one and a half would be like grabbing the back of the dummy and then you have this position. Elbows are low, try to sink your shoulder as low as possible. If you have a tall dummy, it might be difficult, but just try to relax your shoulders so that it sinks low. Make sure your elbow is low here. And then we do a small little little sinking motion, like that. Okay, so at the same time, we're going to pivot. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, and then pivot, like that. So my feet are going to pivot like this. You look at the feet. Third movement is pivot, like this. I'm gonna exaggerate it, I'm gonna go, hmm, like that, hmm. But if you have your feet already in an angle, you don't need to move this feet, you just move this feet. Now when you start the wooden dummy form, we assume that you're already very good at the Silium Tao, Cham Q, and Pu Ti. Uh, but if you haven't um, done that, and you're just doing the dummy form, then uh, a very important note about the feet is when you pivot, you pivot on the heel. You see, it's the heel that stays in place. 
pretty much stays in place. Okay, so you're pivoting sideways, you're pivoting on the heel. So if you look at the difference here, this is me pivoting on my toes. Or the balls of my foot, my instep. This is me pivoting on the heels. They're like windshield wipers. Pivot on the heel, okay? Some people say, well, I don't know which one to pivot. Let's just pivot in the middle. Okay, but the actual proper way of doing this is pivoting on the heel. And a lot of Wing Chun guys are going to say, nope, you pivot on the toe or you pivot in the middle. But actually, for, the, some, uh, for a very specific reason, you pivot on the heels. They're like windshield wipers. Okay? What you don't want to do is to lift your toes like this and pivot. Do not do that. You want to keep your foot flat on the ground, but still pivot on the heel. Okay, so that's a note of the feet of when you do the pivoting, that's very important. So the first move is you're gonna raise it up. The second move is once you raise it up, this one drops to here and then grabs. At the same time, this one's gonna come underneath, slide it up and then grab the back of the, or side of the uh, dummy. Keep your elbow low, making contact here. Keep your shoulder as low as possible. And notice that I've shifted my feet, but we'll show you that in a second, how I shift my feet. Now my angle of my feet is going this way. But let's work on the hand motion first. So one, my hand, back hand's here. This hand comes up, this hand slides down. Now I'm in this position. And then at the same time, I'm gonna sink my, sink it. So this is sinking down, my elbow sinking down, my body sinking down. So basically just drop your knees about an inch and let your body hang from the dummy arms. Okay, so that is the uh, finishing position. Now I mentioned the feet, right? So what you want to do with feet is you're starting in this position and then in the second move, we're going to pivot and shift 70% of our weight to our back leg and now our feet are pointing in this direction, about 45 degrees. Okay, so we start with this one. If you already started with your feet together, I mean feet pointing in, you, then you only have to move one feet and both of them are not pointing in the same direction. Okay, so we started here, 50-50, and then now we shift. Now we're about 70-30. And now both our feet are pointing at that angle. Okay, so if you combine it with the hands, the moment, the timing of the shifting of the feet is when you go up and when you reach up, that's when you shift. The shifting comes when you do the do the um, do the sinking. Okay, so reach up. Then this one comes down. Right hand comes up. When you make contact with the side of the dummy, shift and sink. Okay, so I'm shifting and sinking. So nice and slow. One, two. It's actually just two motions. I'm doing three things in that number two. Number two is this, this, and this. So you do number that all at the same time. One, two, like that. Uh, you can make it, just to make it simpler, you go one, two, three. Three is the same. One, two, three. But actually, you're supposed to do two and three at the same time. But if you just want to learn it like that, one, two, three, the sinking on three, you can just get used to doing that first. But eventually, what you want to do is one, two. So you combine two and three together. Okay, so one, two. That's what you want. This is a simplified version. One, two, three. A simplified version. Here's the uh, regular version, one, two, at the same time. So you do two and three at the same time. One, two, pivot and sink. And then this, the normal version is one, two. So I pivot and I do the sinking and grappling at the same time. One, two, three. One, 
two, three. So come back and then we'll show you the next move from the wooden dummy form.